guys, it's Judy, and yes, it is a Dollar Tree haul. Um, what day is it? Tuesday? Yeah, first one of the week, but um, I went to two different stores today, and I was actually happy with what I found, some nice surprises, and some things I, that I was actually looking for. So, awesome, awesome. Let me just get started, get right to it. Um, first, I've never seen these, and I don't even know if anyone has, has hauled these. These are shatter resistant screen guard, tempered glass. So easy bubble free application, anti fingerprint coating. So I um, have a iPhone 6. So they also had it for the 6 Plus. Um, they also had it for the Samsung Galaxy. I don't know what number, I think, is it a five? I'm not sure because um, I'm not familiar with the Samsung phones, but they also, I believe they also have for the 5S as well. So I'm wondering that, oops. So it includes a tempered glass screen guard, a cleaning cloth, cleaning wipes, and an applicator. And I thought that was pretty good for a dollar. So I picked up three, one for me, one for my husband, and one just in case, right? <laughs> so that was in the automotive like area with the no 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 with the cables and stuff like the the um, yeah like I guess next to the automotive stuff where they have the cases and then the USB stuff so that's where I found those and then I was super excited to see cookbooks um, they had just like one or two of each some only like this was the only one I saw in this um, title Pillsbury Savvy Shoppers Cookbook and I just love it when they have pretty pretty pictures and things like that so I'm looking forward to trying these recipes out I like to collect cookbooks <laughs> um, and then I end up just looking for recipes online anyway but for a dollar guys it beats spending like $16.95 or 20 bucks each you know and then this one is called Small Plates Perfect Wines, creating little dishes with big flavors. And like I said, I love when the books have pretty, pretty pictures and not too many ingredients or, you know, not too crazy, you know, um, cooking instructions. So I kind of look at that too, where, you know, and it looks pretty healthy in here. So I got that one. I also, this, um, Sorry for all the plastic bag noise. Um, but this is a no fuss dinners. Like I said, I only saw one of each title. It's like they had a cookbook um, sale or something. Um, but look, really nice stuff. Fancy stuff too. I see like goat cheese and this and that, frittatas, you know. It's a really nice good mix. Um, I usually look at like the, the, you know, like the contents and stuff. So no deli dinners, light bites, sweet things, you know, dinner for friends, you know, stuff like that. So really nice. And they even go over like pantry essentials and just awesome. Um, so for a dollar guys, come on. Um, I'm sure it goes at least for, look, 25 bucks, right? Oops, sorry. And then even more, yes, there's even more. And they had a huge book on wine. Um, it was like this thick. And it was two different wine books, but I didn't get that. But I did get this Susanna Fu Chinese Cuisine. And so, you know, with a forward by Amy Tan. So this not as many pictures, but still really, you know, great with the recipes and stuff. So let me see where, yeah, so this is, they just do it by, um, you know, type of um, meat or vegetable or whatever. So awesome. And then another one, bread, this really nice bread book. And I don't make, I don't have a bread machine. I, don't, I haven't made bread. I like, I do quick breads, like banana bread and things like that. But
but so they have like gluten-free breads. Ooh, this looks nice. Marble chocolate banana bread. So they have the flat breads as well. Um, but I wonder if they have yeast breads, I'm sure. But um, it looks like a lot of quick breads, which is good. But I think everyday breads, these are probably the yeast breads and stuff. So I just love eating yeast breads and <laughs> bread. So I know one day I will learn how to make bread in my lifetime. That's on my bucket list, right? And I can't believe I found a William Sonoma book as well. And this is San Francisco um, Authentic Recipes Celebrating the Foods of the World. And this is awesome. Look, guys. And I bought I've bought um, like William Sonoma books in the past. And yeah, twenty five dollars. You know, you get it for a dollar, guys. I am like amazed. So. And of course they have like um, Chinese food too. I'm like, wow, they show how you make dim sum and all that. Ooh. Cause you know, San Francisco is a big, has a big Chinatown as well. Um, but oh, I wonder if they have the, like the soup, soup bowls, soup in a bread bowl. Ooh, that would be awesome. But anyway, those are the awesome cookbooks that I found. Definitely like look through your book section to see because normally it has nothing in mind so I was excited to see that all right on to like the other stuff guys um oh oh no that thing fell off well I think I can attach it the tulip so Aiden found these up front and this was the last flower one and he wanted to get it for me so he gave me the rose one for Mother's Day um, but I could not resist these these are new guys look this is the unicorn with um, like the castle, the princess, and the rainbow. How cute is that? And then the other one is dinosaur. A dinosaur. Oh, here comes Aiden. Dinosaur with like the pteranodon, the flying one. Yeah. So how cool are those? That, that is so cute. So I couldn't resist those. The pteranodon so flies. That. That's why yeah. they put it up on the top right yeah. that was pretty smart of them and then I also picked up these big um, pencils and um, I know a bunch of people have been hauling them so I ended up purchasing it they had like the jot ones with the single color um, barrel but I checked and it, it was only five in there and this has six so I'm like hey this is the better deal it is a name brand um, and I like the small smaller size just you know from my my son oh and we picked up some sidewalk chalk of course it's summertime or getting to be summertime outdoor stuff and try to you know create art on the driveway so we have that i picked up some feathers i saw in the craft section um just feathers they had, this is a multicolor pack they also had i think like an all pink pack as well so you know, feathers are always fun for crafts. And then I also picked up this baseball um, base set. So it has a home plate and, you know, it's just a white, I don't even know what material it is. Um, oh, it says rubber. Pictures rubber. Well, I don't know if it's rubber. Three bases, home plate. Aiden, quiet, okay? He has some minion press button. So, shh, Aiden, put it away, please. Thank you. So it's a three bases home plate and pictures rubber. So that's like the size of it. Um, let's see, other things I found was this uh, chalk stencil. So it's um, sidewalk stencils. So basically, you know, I thought it was really cool that Aiden can kind of trace the stencils if he wants to make the planets or the solar system, you know, the rocket let's ship and stars. So, stencils you can trace aid and they give you a guide so you can kind of trace the colors so I thought it was kind of cool to have this they also had like a butterfly and what was the other thing definitely a butterfly and maybe something girly because I don't think it was something we would want <laughs> or Aiden would want but um, it was can a butterfly you, and you, have the spaceship. Flowers? you want the flower the thing fell off do you want to fix it buddy you know, you just snap it on. All right. And then other things I picked up. I also found these cute things. These are test tubes with a holder. Yeah, the geek in me, you know, had to get it. 
but I think it's great for kids just to learn measurements as well. You know, they can measure their liquids, that you can mix, you know, food color or mix colors. And um, great, I think, just for crafts and, you know, little experiments, you know, <laughs> that they can do. So I got one in red and one in blue. So those are the two test tube with a holder. Um, also picked up some jump rope. This is a 14 foot one. And then I also picked up, um, this is only a seven foot one. But I have another one and it's kind of short, so I think I might just, that's why I bought this one to attach to the other one. And then I bought these, two of these, in case we do double dutch or something. <laughs> I remember double dutching when I was younger. Not, you know, crazy good, but I did it. Um, but anyway, also picked up some latex balloons. Every kid loves balloons. You can see I'm getting like kid, kid um, crafts ready for the summer and stuff. Um, so I found these again. These are back in stock and I love these markers. Um, oh, Aiden's showing. Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to show you. These connect to each other. I don't know if you've noticed. I haven't, you know, I remember seeing this one. I'm like, oh, they probably connect. So then, so now we have two. So now I can show you how they connect. Ah. Oh, of course I can't do it. Uh, Aiden did it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Give me it. Here. Oh, I got it. That's okay. Uh, so they connect. So you can make a whole garden. That's pretty and neat. Then huh? oh, gentle, huh? So like I was saying, these markers are great. I love it in my using it color coded for my planners and just, you know, writing in them or journaling. And this is like the lighter colors. And then this is the primary. Oh, sort of primary. Mm, they have a purple. Yeah, but I use these kind of for my planner um, where I sign, like Aiden is one color, you know, I have one color, work is one color, with stuff like that. So, awesome. But definitely recommend these if you're looking for a cheap or nice marker. They are um, like fine tip, kind of like the ultra fines, but they are really good. I don't think, they don't bleed from, for the paper I've used, like the Happy Planner, I don't think they bleed through that, but the Happy Planner is pretty thick. I also use the Philo Fax, and it, those sheets are really thin, so you kind of see through, but it wasn't totally, you know, like bleed through. And then I was so happy to see that they had um, the paper clips. So yes, I found the arrows. I think it's just four designs. Arrows, the stars, and then the hearts, and then the bows. So that was on my wish list and I was so glad I found it. Um, so that's that. And another thing that was on my wish list or hunt list were the labels so I found stars I haven't seen anyone show the stars but I found the stars I found these different labels so it's 240 um, of these and it's for ink jets and then also this this type of label and then also the like sugar coffee labels so I was really excited, but I the one I really wanted actually was the circles, and they didn't have the circles. So I was kind of upset I couldn't find the circles, but I found all these, and I was kind of excited to see the star too. So those are it for the oops stationery. Let's see if I can get through all this. Then Aiden, I don't know why he picked up um, these coin things. I guess I can have him. Do that for me, and he can practice his counting of um, pennies and stuff for our change. Also picked up this um, sand thing, and then repurchases are the buttermilk waffles, French toast sticks, and then this was new. I found these pretzel chips. I found the other one, the blue bag, but this is a gourmet select. So this is a new brand, but it looks like a big bag, five ounces. I also picked up um, this huge thing, mega size, two 10 sheets of paper towels, and these updo clips. I've never seen these, and I thought I'd give it a try, because I always put my hair up with a claw clip. Um, 
And last but not least, I picked up sparklers and puppets for for the July. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.